Thanks, Regina. Good afternoon, everyone. So good to see everybody, even the masks. <laughs> So as Regina said, I'm Kurt Griffel. Uh, I'm on the board of the Mid Peninsula Open Space District. In fact, several of our board members are sitting right here and some of our staff. And prior to uh, presenting the Bay Nature's 2022 Conservation Action Hero Award, I'd just like to share a few thoughts about Nonette Hanko. I had the distinct privilege to serve with Nonette on the board from 2008 until her retirement in 2018. She and I sat next to each other uh, on the dais for those 12 years. And uh, we also, we got together for, for breakfast and lunch every once in a while, just to kind of compare notes and catch up. And you know, Nat would always give me some coaching about how I can do my job a little better as a board member, <laughs> uh, which I always loved. And so I always, I considered Nonette a good friend in addition to a, a colleague on the board. But quite frankly, uh, although I would consider her a good friend, uh, I would say that she's also a hero of mine. Um, and I just wanted to share with you some thoughts as to why I think that she's all of our heroes. All, all of ours is a hero. In 1978, cultural anthropologist Margaret Mead said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, that's the only thing that ever has. Ms. Mead undoubtedly had Nonette in mind uh, when she had this notable con uh, uh, observation. Nonette had no doubt that this small group of people that she had gathered in her living room to enjoy her delicious homemade coffee cake, right, Nonette, um, would conceive an organization that in its 50 years has protected 65,000 acres right in the middle of one of the world's 36 biodiversity uh, hotspots and is now is being visited by uh, well over a million people a year. So thanks to uh, that original idea, uh, that has been some of the results. And the question that, that I always say is, so why did Nonette do this? Well, Nonette grew up on the peninsula, enjoying the surrounding open spaces. She experienced the rapid growth, I mean, as a parent, the rapid uh, development uh, that was happening in the 60s, and she grew concerned. She wanted to, to make sure that her children and their other children had the same opportunity to experience these open spaces full of nature that she had. So Nanette thought that something should be done to prevent all of our precious open space from being lost. Jay Tharwaltz, and then the assistant editor of the Palo Alto Times, dared her to be that somebody. Quit complaining and do something about it, Jay said in an editorial. Little did Jay know the chord he struck with Nanette. You see, Nanette also happens to be a very accomplished pianist. Just like the piano's velvet-covered hammers that can produce beautiful music, most developers and politicians who dealt with Nanette gained a new respect for a style that can be compared to a velvet-covered hammer. <laughs> Unfailingly gracious, warm, cheerful, but strong as steel and a forceful resolve to get things done. As a result, and because of this graciousness and resolve, over, two, over millions of children have had the opportunity to experience open space in, in nature. And thanks to her, tens of millions more will have the opportunity in the future. Unlike many other conservationists at, at, of her time, Nanette, Nanette's equal love of people and, nat and the natural world helped her make an important connection. It wasn't about good for nature versus good for people. She made the early discovery that it must be both. Good for nature and good for people are necessary each necessary for both to be healthy and resilient. Nonette happens to be a very strategic thinker. She knew that owning the land removed any doubt that it would be properly protected and cared for. In Midpen's first 35 years, it was all about buying land and they did a good job of it, or we did a good job of it. 50,000 acres were purchased and protected in that first 35 years. Five years after the founding of Midpen, Nonette helped create a land trust to assist Midpen effort to protect open space. Starting in 1977, Peninsula Open Space Trust, or POST, uh, became a strategic partner of Midpen, raising hundreds of millions of dollars and protecting over 75,000 acres of, of land. 
Nonette knew that proper policies and structures would be needed for this new agency. Yet she believed the real secret to the success of an open space agency would be to hire smart, motivated, and passionate staff, some of whom are here today. Next to our pr precious protected land, Nanette always said that Midpen staff was our greatest asset. She was so proud of each one of them. One of Nanette's guiding principles has been always do the right thing for the land in the long run. This set a tone for the board. She always kept us focused on the greater good of the entire district rather than on our individual wards or short or, or short term interests. She instilled a culture where we worked hard to reach consensus. At the same time, she brought thoughtful, creative, out of the box thinking to many of our board discussions. Nonette loved to hear from the public. It was not often that we had a public attend our twice monthly meetings. But when they did, Nanette always tried to make them feel welcomed and valued. There were a few instances when we would have had a contentious meeting involving not so happy members of the public. Nanette would then bring her homemade brownies to the public meeting and remind speakers to help themselves after their comments. <laughs> How is that for placating a, a, a hostile crowd? I could go on and on about Nonette, but I think it's time to present the Bay Nature Conservation Action Hero Award to her. Thank you for listening while I bragged about my hero. I think you'll agree her story is pretty remarkable. Thank you, Regina and the team at Bay Nature for making this award and recognition possible. And thank all of you for listening. Please share Nonette's incredible story with others and encourage all the future Nonette Hankos to believe that they too should make the world a better place for people and nature. Now on behalf of Bay Nature, I'd like to present the 2022 Conservation Action Hero Award to Nanette Hanko. Thank you, <clears throat> and thank you all for coming. I have a hunch that I'm talking to people who are in the midst of preserving more open space somewhere in our area. Thank you. It's worth it. 